Hi, welcome back to Gruber's Grubs. I wasn't able to record myself in a normal video format for the intro, so here's a picture of my cat. Uh, today we're going to be making peppermint patties, which I didn't realize you could make yourself, but I guess you can. So, like always, here are the ingredients, and let's get started. So the first thing you should do is put the condensed milk into a stand mixer and add in the peppermint extract and then combine in only two cups of the powdered sugar. Once you get all that in the stand mixer, put it on a low setting and allow it to blend. This is what it looked like after a minute. It becomes really creamy and smooth. So once you reach this consistency, you need to add in the other two cups of powdered sugar. And after this, just put the mixer back on low and it'll start to make this dough that you can see here. Continue to mix until uh, a solid ball starts to form with the dough and then you'll know that it's ready to go. Now gently remove the dough from the mixer. Once you do this, uh, set the dough aside on parchment paper. Now put your chocolate chips in a bowl and add in the shortening. And all you have to do is put this in the microwave for a few minutes and it will start to melt. Now go back to your peppermint dough and put another sheet of parchment on top of it and then start to roll it out and you want to roll it out so it's very very thin uh, so it should be about half an inch thick the dough is pretty stiff and it took a while to roll it out this thin but just persevere and eventually it should look something like this Get another sheet of parchment so you can roll out the little, uh, I guess the patties themselves. And I just broke a little piece off of the dough, the large sheet of dough, and then rolled it into a circle and then squished the circle uh, to make the little patties. And I just did this multiple times until I had basically no dough left. And here, some of them looked kind of strange at the end because the dough was drying, but that's it. And then all you have to do is add your melted chocolate on top. And once you do that, this takes a really long time and it's, it's pretty messy, I'll say that. Uh, after that, just put them on the sheets of parchment on cookie trays and throw them in the freezer. And these are what mine looked like. They were really messy, but... Somehow they taste even better than store-bought ones. 